Agreed. I will do as you ask. Come with me. God, it's a shame that we must resort to violence. I am off. Agreed. All of his actions must speak louder than words. Tap the shield of the line. My actions must speak louder than words. The hells come with me. To the treasures of the dead. With the dead. Certainly. I will do as you ask. I will do as you ask. I will do as you ask. I am off. Your side must sleep with the dead. Your side must sleep with the dead. Certainly. I am off. Agreed. I will do as you. I am off. A reasonable. I shall do my best. Labor calls me. I will do as you ask. Labor calls me. Your actions work to push it out. Your actions bring out the best in me. Reasonable request. Agreed. Agreed. To the oh, work there, bring out the best in me. Do oh, not to sleep with the dead. I am gravely wounded. I yes. A reasonable request. <laughs> Labor calls me. Certainly. Labor calls me.
May I help? No trouble at all. Quickly now. I shall do my best. I am off. God's strength strength bring out the best in me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God's strength, strength, strength bring out the best in me. I'll make this is It is a shame that we must resort to violence. Yes. I am ready. What is your will? Labor calls me. I am off. I shall do my best. Quickly now. I will do as you ask. A reasonable request? A reasonable request? I, I am I shall do my best. Agreed. Huh? Sounds good. Me? So that's how it is. Here. Your command? Yes. How may I best serve? God, I come with me. What now? You all right, see you see you with the dead. Ready. What is your all right, is all to oh, oh, shit, shit. I will do as you ask. I will do as you ask. Search a reasonable request. Labor calls me. I shall do my best. Certainly. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. I am off. Labor calls me. I shall do my agreed. I will do as you ask. He will smash your face. Quickly now. Agreed. Labor I am off. Labor calls me. Certainly. Certainly. A reasonable request? Oh, 
Request, I shall do my best. A reasonable request, a reasonable request. Yes. Fighting their way through the goblin-infested valley of the pass, the survivors of the doomed East Haven expedition at last came upon the small hamlet of Kaldahar. Nestled within the roots of a massive oak tree, the tiny cottages were a welcome sight for the weary travelers. As the party approached the town, a warm breeze blew over them, chasing away the chill of the frozen pass and carrying with it the sweet scent of cooking fires. A reasonable request? I shall do my best. Labor calls me. Reasonable request? Agreed. I shall do my best. I shall do my best.
Yes. What is your with a reasonable request? Agreed. Labor calls me. Certainly. A reasonable request? Agreed. Welcome. I've been expecting you for some time now. <sighs> yes, well... Bad news travels upon swift wings in these mountains. I know about your expedition from East Haven. I know why you are here. For it was I who sent for you. Yes, I am Arendelle. Known to some as the Archdruid of Kaldahar. Though I invite you to dispense with the formalities and just call me Arendelle, plain and simple. Titles tend only to serve one's own vanity and aren't really of much use in this small mountain community. Yes. It was I who sent Alistair to East Haven for help. His death weighs heavily upon my conscience. For not only was he a student of mine, but he was also a friend and trusted companion. He will be missed, as will Rothgar and the other members of your expedition. Let us say I knew of him. Word of his deeds has reached even our small, isolated town. I also know that his death, tragic as it is, was no accident. Someone or something did not want your party to reach Kaldahar alive. There are malevolent forces at work in these mountains. Forces that seek to undermine the delicate balance we druids have struggled to preserve for centuries. Oh, what did I could. The face of the evil remains hidden, but its presence is unmistakable. All about us, there are signs of its damaging influence on the balance. The unnatural weather, the recent rash of abductions, the numerous monster sightings in the pass. These all point towards something sinister. Even the animals sense something is amiss. I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? Oh, the weather in these mountains has always been harsh, but never like this. Fierce storms ravage the valley without warning, often lasting for several days at a time before vanishing as quickly as they come. It is barely midway into Leafall, and yet the pass to the south has been snowed in entirely. Weather such as this is most unnatural. Nature presents itself in cycles that are predictable by those who know what to look for. I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? Oh, yes. Terrible, terrible. At first, there were tales told by travelers of companions disappearing into the night, snatched up from their bedrolls as they camped along the narrow trail that winds through the pass. We did not think much of these tales. For such occurrences are not unheard of in these mountains. Then one night, Conlon's boy, Sheemish, went missing. The next morning, the whole town searched for the boy, but turned up nothing. He was just gone, vanished without a trace. The boy was just the first. Several nights later, another disappeared, Megan Potts, the local midwife. Her husband, Khalil, was grief-stricken to the point of madness. With barely a word to anyone, he snatched up his sword and marched off into the darkness after his wife. No one has heard from him since. And now, the abductions are occurring more frequently. Aiden, the old innkeeper from the Evening Shade, was taken only three days ago. I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? As I'm sure you have noticed by now, there seems to be quite a few goblins about. It is not usual to see so many of their kind roaming the mountains so late in the year. It is almost as something has drawn them out of their holes, like carrion birds drawn to the scent of death. As if the goblins weren't enough, several giants have been spotted moving through the pass in groups as large as ten. 
That many giants traveling together in such numbers indicates they are organized and are acting with a singular purpose. I have watched their activities closely. Their tracks trace a deliberate pattern through the mountains, almost as if they were on patrol. Another thing. While I was out scouting the giants, I discovered other sets of tracks, tracks I have never encountered before. What manner of beast made them? I could not say. The balance. It is what the druids of Kaldahar hold sacred and have worked to preserve for generations. It is all around us. It is us. Balance is the harmony that is achieved when man and nature learn to coexist, no longer contending with one another, but coming together as two parts of a whole. Balance is the belief that this town is built upon, the very reason for its existence. Druids of Sylvanus, the Oak Father, have tended this shrine since the beginning. For hundreds of years, we have striven to achieve the ideal balance between man and nature. When settlers finally came to this pass, it was the Archdruid Tolben, my predecessor, who laid the foundation for the relationship that led to the birth of this community. The Great Oak, the massive tree that stands above us, around us. It is a holy shrine to Sylvanus, for it was he who planted its seed when Ferun was first born. It is a testament to the raw power of nature, a monument to its ability to thrive in the face of adversity. Thanks to Tolben, the great oak we druids called the Kaldahar, and the town that has come to be known by the same name, have together become a monument of even greater significance, a monument to the balance. Tolben was the catalyst for the transformation of the shrine from a sacred grove to a thriving community in which man and nature exist as one. At first, settlers were kept away from the site. The druids of old saw outsiders as an affront to the sanctity of the tree and its sphere of benign influence. They erected thorny brambles to keep intruders out and used their powers to frighten away the men and women that came to build homes in a place they felt was obviously so close to the gods. It wasn't until the succession of Archdruid Tolben that things changed. Unlike his predecessors, he believed that the settlement of the valley was not only inevitable, but it was actually the will of Sylvanus. He also believed that we had been wrong in keeping the settlers away, and that the Oak Father had intended people to share in the miracle of the Great Oak from the beginning. When Tolben finally became Archdruid, he formed a plan to fulfill the destiny of this sacred site by bringing about a union between the Great Oak Shrine and the settlers. It was this union that the Archdruid Tolben believed would achieve the harmony that we had been striving for for generations. The harmony between man and nature. As it stands, Kaldahar is a monument to this vision. The tree and town exist in a natural symbiosis, where it is next to impossible to tell where one leaves off and the other begins. But now, the balance is threatened. I fear that if we do not soon discover the source of these disturbances, then all that we have worked for will be destroyed. The evil that has come to these mountains infects this town like a disease. As its people suffer, so does the tree suffer from the sickness that attacks the balance, corrupting it with its very presence. Already, the circle of warmth that radiates from the great oak has begun to recede. We were forced to abandon the outlying farmsteads as a result of the shrine's fading power. If we do not take action soon, I am afraid that the life-giving warmth will cease altogether. Both the great oak and the town nestled within its roots will die. This must not happen. We need your help. 
I suggest you begin by investigating the Vale of Shadows. It is a place not far from here. Darkness has always clung to the floor of the small canyon, as if the light of the sun itself were wary of the place. There are a number of ancient crypts hidden within the shadows of the Vale's narrow cliff walls. There have been rumors of the dead awakening and emerging from their dusty tombs to walk once more amongst men. If these rumors are true, then I suspect that whatever is responsible for disturbing their slumber may be behind the other disturbances as well. Go to the Vale of Shadows, learn what you can about the happenings there, then return here and we shall discuss a course of action. Good luck and farewell. A reasonable request? Agreed. Labor calls me. I am off. Certainly. I will do as you ask. I am off. Certainly. Agreed. Certainly. I shall do my best. Labor calls me a reasonable request. I am off. I will do as you ask. Certainly. 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 I am off. I shall do my best.
will do as you ask. Labor calls me. Labor calls me. Certainly. A reasonable request? Labor calls me. I will do as you ask. I shall do my best. I am off. Certainly. I am off. Ready.
Fine, fine. Sounds good. Quickly now. Labor calls me. Yes, I shall do my... I am off. Agreed. Certainly. I will do as you ask. I shall do my best. Mm-hmm. Good. I am... I am off. Yeah. Okay. Good. Fine, fine. Yeah. Good. Good. What is your will? A reasonable request? I will do as you ask. A reasonable request? Agreed. Labor calls me. Agreed. I shall do my best. Quickly now. I am off. Agreed. I am off. A reasonable request. Labor calls me. Yes. I am ready. Labor calls me.
neighbor calls me. Labor calls me. Agreed. A reasonable request? I shall do my best. Agreed. A reasonable request? A reasonable request? Agreed. Agreed. Labor calls me. I will do as you ask. I shall do my best. I shall do my best. Huh? Sure. Okay. Fine, fine. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. What is your... I will do... Certainly. Certainly. I am off. I shall do my best quickly now. Agreed. Yes.
I am ready. What is your will? Agreed. I shall do my best. I will do as you ask. I am off. Ready. Quickly now. Certainly. A reasonable request. I will do as you ask. Agreed. I am off. Reasonable request. I am off. Agreed. I will do as you ask.
I shall do my best. I shall do my best. I will assist you in any way possible. Yes? <laughs> 